Hello ladies and gentlemen, this screencast will focus on how to insert media in links with Inactive Inspire software. Pretty much gives us the ability to call upon a moot or to call upon a video, to call upon um, a link to the web or a link to a specific file or a link to an image um, or inserting an image um, at the click of uh, a few buttons here. So basically that prevents us from having to go back to our keyboard during the course of a lesson and have to navigate our home directories to find something. Now it's already inserted it's fluent when we click on something it will play so I'm going to call upon a clear a clear page here um, to insert objects um, media etc you go to the main menu you click on insert and you have a couple options you have the option to insert media or links the first thing I'm going to show you is how to insert media you click on media it's quite intuitive and you navigate to I'm just going to show you a picture first you navigate to the picture you want I'm going to double click on the picture I want. It automatically populates onto my screen. Pretty, uh, pretty cut and dry. Pretty much what we're familiar with within like Microsoft Word or maybe another application. So that's how you would put in a uh, an image. Next thing I'll show you is how to insert a movie. Now again, or a video. Excuse me. Now again, obviously you have to have this video somewhere in your home directory prior to. Um, utilizing it in this fashion but to embed a movie you click on insert media and what you'll now need to do is to navigate to a a video that you have at some point at some place in your home directory so let me attempt to uh, to find a video here quickly um, here are some generic videos that came with uh, just come with um, windows uh, now here's the thing you can link to any type of video file format you'd like all right. By link, I mean you can click a link and it will show up. If you want the video to play directly in Active Inspire screen, um, Active Inspire supports Windows Media Video (WMV). That's what these files are right here. So I'm going to click on the bear. Double click on the bear. Notice it pops up in my screen. It's like a black screen. There's the bear. It's getting ready to play. If you want it to be enlarged, the screen to be enlarged, I'm going to highlight it. And I'm just going to drag the screen and make it kind of like a movie screen within my screen. So then when I'm ready, I'll just click play. And you can see the bear video playing directly in my screen. Okay? So that's not a problem whatsoever. If you want to link, if you would like to link to a specific um, video, let's say that is not a Windows Media video, all right, that's not a that's not a problem either. You can click on Insert Media, and you'll just have to navigate to a different video, like a like a um, like an MOV, some type of some type of other video that uh, that you have accessible to. I don't actually think I have one right now, unfortunately. Um, yeah, unfortunately I don't. But basically what will happen is that's the only file format that will be able to be placed directly in your screen. Otherwise you have to click the link and the link will launch the video otherwise. Okay? So that's not a problem. If you need further clarification, please don't hesitate to ask me. Um, inserting links to the web. So you click on insert link in website. So you basically enter a website that you want it to launch. I just typed in www.google.com and what that will do is you have an option of pasting it as a text, as an image, as an action, or as an existing object. So basically what I'm going to have it do is have it, when I click OK, it's going to put in google.com. You can see it right there. When I take my cursor and I roll it over, you can see it turns to a, um, an arrow and that tells me that that is hot. Right? And we talked about that in, in the tutorial. That's a hot link. So when I click it, automatically it's going to launch Google and there's the website again reason being why Jared why do we have to have that you don't but it's a nice quick way to have um, access to something you want to call upon within your lesson without having to go back to the computer or to the on-screen keyboard and type it in um, now if I have let's say real, real fast here I just put a picture of a star on my screen if I want to go and insert a link to a website now I can have Let's just say I want to go to yahoo.com. I can also have it um, take the existing object on my screen, which is a star, and I can have, so again, what I did was I clicked on insert website. I typed in Yahoo. I clicked on existing object, and then I clicked on the ellipsis, ellipsis here. What that will give me is it will give me the opportunity to tell the software that I want the shape to be the hot link. So let's say 
I click on the shape, I click OK, and then I click OK again. When I roll over this star now, now when I click the star, the star is going to launch Yahoo.com. So again, just, a, just some nice luxury. It's just a, how to create a quick link within um, Active Inspire to the web. To insert a link to a file, you do the same, th same thing as before. Insert link to file, and you just call upon the file you want it to link to. Let's say maybe it, it is a um, Word document, a PDF file, PowerPoint, what have you. Same exact way. Pretty intuitive. And to insert audio, you do the same exact thing we did with video. You would insert link, or excuse me, insert media, and you would just simply navigate to um, any audio file you have. So here's a music folder, and let's just, here's the Oompa Loompa sound, fantastic sound. You can see it pops up for me a little, uh, a little speaker, so when I click on that, it will play The Oompa Loompa song. Fantastic song. If you've not heard that, I highly recommend you downloading that um, online. Add it to your library. It's fantastic. All right, guys. Um, that's that's that as far as in inserting uh, media and links into Active Inspire. A nice uh, higher end way of adding some uh, some flash to your um, to your. Active Inspire documents, your flip charts. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to uh, either give me a call or send me an email. I'll be happy to help you out. Take care. Thank you.